Hey, hi all. Welcome back to VRR Knowledge Center. So today I come up with a different concept called influx DB. Influx DB. So, which basically it's a new concept uh, uh, arriving, uh, you know, for uh, time series of data storing uh, uh, for the you know time series platforms. This includes API for storing and querying of data uh, like the performance metrics and the uh, HTTP uh, request and response details. And also it processes it in background for uh, ETL or monitoring and altering, uh, alerting purposes, et cetera, et cetera. So this Inflex DB is a open source uh, time series platform where it has different kind of data coming from different sources for to create a user dashboards and visualizing and exploring the data and uh, extraction, transformation, and loading of data into different graphs, et cetera, et cetera. So this uh, influx DB, so uh, basically uh, using it for time series platform, as I mentioned. So the time series or time series platform is a collection of observations of well-defined data items resulted through uh, repeated measurements over time. So time series data is indexed in a time order, which is a sequence of data points. So uh, time series database also available here. So like TSDB is a database system, which is uh, optimized for providing time series data. And it is uh, stories purpose. We use it to um, association with the time and values. So this TSDB uh, consists of measurements of, uh, you know, matrix that are monitored, track, refinement of data, uh, down sampling and aggregated over time, etc. etc. They can be application monitoring analysis data or API uh, uh, processing request and response data, etc. etc. So now let's see like uh, how it is going to be uh, using it for uh, installing in different platforms and then how it is using it in uh, different kind of dashboards. If you look at Grafana is a dashboard where uh, it has one of the data source to be integrated inside of Grafana where it is fetching data from InfluxDB and then it will visualize the data in graphical representation. So I already, you know, uh, having it inside of uh, this graph uh, representation. If you look at here, uh, I already installed in my local. This is how it is displaying InfluxDB. It has different uh, kind of uh, uh, options here to load data from different uh, sources. So as like if you look at here, these are the client libraries, backend, frontend, and different uh, applications. There we have buckets and telegraph and uh, you know the scrappers and AP tokens. We have it. So and also you have a data explorer. Like you know, if you wanted to uh, visualize in different way, so you have so many options here. And I have a notebooks and have a dashboard here. So and have a tasks and alerts. So you have a settings. If you wanted to change it any settings, variables and templates, we have it basically. And it is something UI we have it to see our uh, series of data, how it is uh, appearing, you know. So and also you can uh, uh, keep on uh, posting this data into uh, different other sources like you know, Grafana or Elasticsearch, etc., etc. Okay, so let, 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 let us see like how do we install this and uh, how uh, it is uh, integrating into your Grafana dashboard and how it is pulling the data from Grafana uh, you know, to this influx DB and uh, later on like, you know, uh, see that uh, how it is helpful for uh, data transformations, right? So to do this, I think we have to uh, download this uh, from, uh, you know, the influxdata.com website, like, you know, uh, portal dot influxdata.com, where this is the uh, designated website for influx database. So you have to visit this website and you download it from here and then install it. So go, if we go for uh, documentation, we have a different uh, documentation steps. We have how to integrate and how to 
uh, use this dashboards and options of influx db right and also you know uh, having said that so we have to go for download option to download this right so it has different um, platforms supporting it so mac os and ubuntu and red hat and uh, linux and windows binaries and docker images so based on the platform you are right now working on it you just choose that option and get it install it done so we will see that how to install this influx db in next session so that you will have a clear picture on like how to install it and how to keep the data inside of influx db okay so thanks for listening this video and we'll see the installation steps in the coming session thank you